Now, because I'd been a football star and a war hero and national celebrity and a shrimp and boat captain, the college graduate, the City Falls of Greenbow, Alabama, decided to get together and offered me a fine job. So uh, I never went back to work for Lieutenant Dan. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money, he got me invested in some kind of fruit company. And so then I got a call from him saying, we don't have to worry about money no more. And I said, that's good. One less thing. Yes, it's one of my favorite movies too, Forrest Gump. And uh, so who's the best investor in the world? No, it's not Warren Buffett. It is Forrest Gump. Look at the returns he has made. In this scene, he is talking about holding Apple shares. And Forrest Gump was movie was released in 1994, July. And uh, he, if he had held it through this period in the last 26 years, the returns would have been a whopping 400 times in last 26 years. So that's a magical return. And obviously, so Forrest Gump is world's best investor and not Warren Buffett. So he, uh, Apple shares uh, in 1994 when Forrest Gump movie came, if somebody had bought the shares and it was roughly trading at around a dollar, 97 cents. It's now currently at $425 per share. It's going to split. And that's a return of 400 times. Amazing feat if somebody had held through. Now, jokes apart, Warren Buffett indeed is world's best investor, if you ask me. Berkshire Hathaway invested in Apple shares, in bought uh, Apple shares in 2016. And uh, here is a report on how the returns fared. See, Buffett had bought in 2016, Apple shares in May 2016, and the returns, it was trading at roughly $90 per share. Now it's around $425, approximately five times in four years. Stupendous returns in these kind of times. And uh, that to buying one of the largest company in US or even globally. So obviously Warren Buffett is the best investor in the world. And uh, my sad story continues. I never owned Apple shares. My logic was so flawed. I always used to think it's such a big firm. How can that grow three, four, five times? And it still continues to be flawed. I still don't own Apple shares or uh, Amazon shares because of the sheer size. And uh, it continues to defeat my belief. Apple has grown 11% this quarter, you know, posting a blown out results and beating all street expectation. And it has gone ahead and become world's largest company dethroning Saudi Aramco. Apple shares now is almost 50%, 45% of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. And it's almost worth $90, $91 billion and they continue to grow. So lesson learned, never look at the size of the company currently to estimate the future earnings potential. Future is highly unknown. So have a diversified portfolio and always have some large companies which are strong monopolies like Amazon, Apple in your portfolio. It's worth owning those shares. Who knows, 10 years down the line, we might be looking at a five to six or 10 times potential return. Hope you like this video and thanks for tuning into my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.